breathe. Dotum loom. Subject, urban experience. Frustrated by lack of on-reserve opportunities for employment and often troublesome living conditions, many Indigenous people step out of their comfort zone and migrate to urban centres. With the hope of starting fresh and finding jobs, many are overwhelmed by their new surroundings and become susceptible to unhealthy influences and lifestyles. This common truth echoes the economic plight experienced by many migrating families, but compounded by racism and cultural dignoration. The Trust and Reconciliation Commission focused on the health impacts and outcomes for Indigenous people, demanding, number 20, that in order to address the jurisdiction disputes concerning Aboriginal people who do not reside on reserves, we call upon the federal government to recognize, respect, and address the distinct health needs of the Métis, Inuit, and off-reserve Aboriginal peoples. An Ojibwe kinship structure, the Loon, Dotum is part of the Mingwaki group, which fosters tribal peace. The haunting cry of the Loon is the most distinctive characteristic. This is its spirit, its breath. The call of the Loon takes a number of forms specific to particular needs and circumstances and serves to protect the well-being of the flock. The loon, therefore, serves as a strong symbol for the advocacy required to promote and sustain community interests and well-being. In the painting, the two swirls contrast hope, pink, and anxiety, yellow. While hope gives voice to the loon figure embodying the urban Aboriginal experience, anxiety attempts to suppress the dormant figure. It is a reminder to us to pay attention to the cries for help that can allow Indigenous people to succeed in new environments. Smudged, Dotum Kingfisher, Subject, Ceremony. Ceremony is of critical importance to the cultural integrity of Indigenous people. It is not surprising then that the common truth of indigenous historical experience found ceremony in the crosshairs of public policy, resulting in index banning ceremony and language. Article 12 of the UN Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People states that, number one, indigenous peoples have the right to manifest, practice, develop, and teach their spiritual and religious traditions, customs, and ceremonies. The right to maintain, protect, and have access to privacy to their religious and cultural sites. The right to use and control of their ceremonial objects, and the right to repatriation of their human remains. Number two, states shall seek to enable access of the repatriation of ceremonial objects and human remains in their possession through fair, transparent, and effective mechanisms developed in the conjunction with the human indigenous people concerned. In Ojibwe kinship structure, the King Fisher, Dodum is part of the Bignagik group, which fosters tribal peace. As a bird of prey, the King Fisher is a creature of habit and a strong symbol for ceremony and ritual. Typically perching in the open and its bright plumage, as illustrated in this painting here, the kingfisher makes no apology for traditional knowledge and ways of life. In this painting, the kingfisher carries sage, commonly used for ceremony purposes. The striped branch of its perch represents the journey experienced through ceremony. It is a black and white affair. Either you choose to benefit from it or you choose not to. The swirls encircling the ceremonial experience 
filter out negativity and promote healing and spiritual benefits. The stain of cultural repression inflicted on indigenous communities where ceremony and language was stifled and cleansed through ritual smudging. The Kingfisher carries the traditional tradition from generation to generation, safeguarding it and always on the lookouts for deans. Danger.